what is up YouTube. Starting off this video kind of like vlog style. Anyways, we are officially at the two week out mark and yeah, it's getting real. Some days I'm like really, really dead. Some days I feel better. Today's pretty solid so far. And, um, you know, overall, I feel this is uh, definitely by far my best look. Never been this lean this far out. Um, this week, my coach and I even did this mock peak where he gave me probably like seven, 800 grams of carbs. He gave me Rice Krispies. He gave me nut butter. He gave me all types of stuff to try to mimic like a peak, like what we would eat before the show. And literally had a really, really good look with that. And my weight didn't even go up. So we pushed for a couple more days and we're gonna do the same thing again tomorrow. So um, today is chest day and uh, we're gonna push real, real hard today to prime the body and get it ready for all that food tomorrow. So, but if you guys wanna see what it takes to get pretty peeled, this is one of my meals I've been eating three times a day. This is literally just tilapia and green beans. No seasoning, or not seasoning rather, no condiments, no sauces, no nothing. And then also at three weeks out, um, my diet sodas, artificial sweeteners, all that stuff got cut out. So the last week I've just been, you know, riding it out with no condiments, no nothing. And you guys are probably thinking that's disgusting. Why would you do that? Well, you know, when you wanna win and you wanna bring your best look, you could literally be told to eat dirt and you'll do it. So I just wanted to uh, start off this video kind of with a little personal message for me, try to add in a little bit more context to what it is that we're doing. So this is gonna be meal two. I'll have two more before we train later. And uh, I'll probably give you guys a physique update in the gym as well. So I will see everyone at the gym. All right, run it, run it, run it. Boom. Clap one more time. Here we go. Ooh, that was a good one. Not bad. What's up, guys? Two weeks out right now from the pro debut. Uh, back at it today. Today's going to be chess. Today is Friday, officially two weeks out. So uh, last video was about three and a half weeks out. So it's been about a week, week and a half since I last talked to you guys. And... Um, it's definitely been a push since then, you know, um, dropped a couple more pounds, tightened up, got harder. Um, there's been a lot of changes, um, not so much in the diet, but definitely in the physique visually. Um, it's really, really cool because I'm actually, my coach is very happy with what we have. I already beat my last show day look and we still got two more weeks. So the cool thing is, which I've never been able to do, is with my coach, we're actually feeding up into the show. We're pulling back cardio. We're actually freshening the body up before we get towards peak week and then ultimately the show day. Normally what I'm having to do is push high cardio, low food, all the way up until like two days out. And then I maybe fill up maybe Friday and then get on stage Saturday. So ultimately, being able to be in constant communication with my new coach, you know, talk to him every day. He sees what I look like every day. He makes adjustments every day and ultimately it has yield, yielded to the best look ever and uh, a great combination of condition, fullness, you know, retaining all my size, retaining all my muscle that I built in the long off season. So it's been cool, you know, normally any other coach I'm with, it's just push, 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 run the body into the ground. This is just like we're pushing and we're pulling back when we need to. And I, uh, I'm excited for you guys to see for sure. Uh, I'm very, very happy with how things are. Training performance is still really good. Intensity is still really high. Uh, really, the only noticeable thing is going to be the low energy. But that's not just me. That's anyone that's low body fat. So it doesn't matter how much cardio you're doing or how little you're eating. If, once you're sub 5% body fat, everyone is going to feel tired throughout the day everyone's going to feel shitty so that's just a part of the game right now it's just about mentally who can push through to the end 
and mentally who can stay the most relaxed, calm, stress-free. And that's been this whole prep for me. Relaxed, calm, stress-free, positive, all these things play a very important role. So as you see, we're back at JB Fitness and chest day is gonna go down. And luckily for you guys, haha. -ha. The G-string. Yep. We're gonna do some posing today. I mean, I'm doing posing post-workout every day. Uh, I do posing midday, posing fasted. Posing is pretty much nailed, but um, we need some pictures post-workout and I figure I haven't actually put a true physique update on YouTube. So we're gonna do that today post chest day. But uh, other than that, uh, we gotta go get a pump right now. So uh, it's about that time. Let's get in there, have some fun and handle business. So, uh, if you guys want something different, I could see what you got. We could do some bodybuilding on this one, and we'll do the right right there. Oh, or what do you want to do? Bodybuilding on the, uh, on the TV, and then the music? Uh, yeah. Or you want yeah. videos? Yeah. 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 Hey, just don't put on Justin Bieber like you put on last time, bro. I'm gonna put some Taylor Swift. Oh. Taylor. <laughs> yeah, she's my fave. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> you want to see my tattoo Taylor Swift? Right? <laughs> I have her face tatted. <laughs> Paul Lincoln Park, dude? Is this on right now? Yeah, but uh, let me fix that. Are y'all queuing up a playlist for the YouTube right now? Just making sure the vibe is So uh, exercise number one is going to be this Jim Laco converging flat chest press. This is probably, mm, it's definitely up there in the top three with my favorite chest machines. Feels so good on the stretch, it opens you up and then it converges. So when you come up for the squeeze, it brings your hands together. So it's a very natural movement, feels really, really smooth. It's going to hit the overall chest. So I've been starting with this going as heavy as I can um, but just keep in mind you know we're two weeks out no PRs no drop sets no intensifiers no supersets no nothing like that so really just straight sets I'm aiming for that 10 to 12 12 to 15 range uh, a safe rep range but still need to get that stimulus for the muscle and also still need to get those nutrients to the muscle Yeah, there's 15 reps right there. So, like right at 15, I failed, which is really cool because this is like pretty solid weight and I can control it, I can squeeze, and everything feels really, really smooth. So, I'm gonna do another one with this and just keep pumping blood into those upper pecs right here. Oh, the cameo, the cameo. Yeah, right here, I'm gonna be sick, I'm not gonna lie. You can send me that check in. You, you do look sick, I'm not gonna lie. Cause oh, thank you. you sent me that check-in like two days ago. Yeah. And I was like, bro's fucking looking stripped already. Yeah, it's, it's funny cause like, I still have, I don't, what goes on you last? 
my lower back and glutes. Yeah, it's like right here. Yeah. Yeah. I have that like that. I, I call it fat flat, right? Yeah. You know when you like still have that like, yeah. and you're depleted, so your muscles aren't full. That's like the worst part of prep when you're like six to eight weeks out. You're like not lean enough to look peeled, but your food is cut back, and you're you're still in a deficit, so you just look flat. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. You you uh you kind of skipped that this time around. No, you had it. Zach, I hate to do this to you, but. Hey, what are you doing? Now we stretch out the upper chest. This is another one of my favorite pieces here. Jim Laco incline chest fly. So really don't have that much weight on here. We're just emphasizing a good squeeze and a slow negative to get that full stretch. Here we go. grinder that last one for sure but uh this is very very low impact and um i'll probably do three working sets here Exercise number four, jumping right into it with a decline press. This is Atlantis. Honestly, I'm just using all my favorite chest pieces here. So to recap, we did a flat chest press, incline Smith, incline flies, and now we're gonna hit the decline. So for like so many years, I totally neglected decline. And um, I wanna say this last maybe year, year and a half, I started hitting it really hard. And I notice, especially like in my side shots, when I'm hitting a side chest, there's so much more depth just right here from the side. Almost like my chest looks more dense and full from the side here. Like my upper chest was always a strong point. You know, like I would hit a most muscular and you would see the striations in my upper chest always, even when I was like a teenager. And um, I put so much emphasis on my upper chest, which most people do but I never ever targeted directly my lower chest. So by adding in like one decline movement every chest day, even if it's towards the end, I think will make a big difference in rounding out your pecs. You know, you don't want to have a huge upper chest shelf and then it just curves down and then it's flat. If you could have a big lower chest, a big middle chest, a big upper chest from all angles, from the front, from the side, even from the back, you're going to see your chest in all shots. And ultimately, that's the goal. So that's why I've uh, really, really emphasized uh, the lower chest specifically. But we're almost done here. Pump is pretty good, but it's it's fading already, which is totally normal. You know, I have a pump for 10, 15 minutes and it goes away. And, um, you know, it's just part of the game, you know. But we're going to probably do one more here. Finish with some more flies and then it'll be time to pose. So, let's keep it going. Mm. 
is, it, there's no tension on the chest. It just, like the squeeze is good, but even then it stops you right here. I want to go all the way. Yeah, you're not wrong. Range of motion is really limited. He's a pussy, bro. Don't believe him. He's a pretty big pussy. <laughs> that better be in the YouTube. All right, guys, it's uh, about time to go pose. So, I'm gonna throw the trunks on and get some posing in. Here we go. Bang outside, bang outside. Don't come out the house with the gang outside. Bang outside, bang outside. Don't come out the house with the gang outside. Bang outside, bang outside. Don't come out the house with the gang outside. Alright guys, there's um, three rounds of posing right there, post-workout, and um, things looking pretty good right now. No high day today, no extra food or anything, just a regular dig day, and uh, we're supposed to feed up tomorrow. So today was a new low though, it was 214.4 I believe, and um, you know, we're, we're just about ready. You know, my coach thinks around 212, 213-ish another pound pound and a half and then you know you got the peak you know water depletion sodium manipulation and um obviously the carb up too so still a lot of variables that uh can be played with here so um but for being flat you know post-workout uh very very happy with the look i got my day ones here my beautiful girlfriend just got her hair done for like seven hours and she finally made it and she came all the way here straight from the hairdresser just to take my photos to send to my coach so 
Um, I got my friend Zach here. He finished training like an hour ago, and he's just here just to watch me. And then obviously the man behind the cam, who's been here for years. So that is just a testament of you know the support that I have. Uh, these are three of my day ones, and you know they're here on a Friday night watching me pose in my underwear. So you know. Look around your circle and, uh, you know, if those people aren't going to go hard for you, then you might need to reevaluate, you know, who's in your circle. So uh, I appreciate and love all my friends and, of course, my family for always going hard for me and uh, always being there for me because, you know, although this is an individual sport, like I'm on stage by myself, I'm posing by myself, there's a whole team and a whole process behind this. And, you know, I wouldn't be able to do it alone. So. You know, and that goes for you guys, you know, supporting, you know, via Instagram, YouTube, whatever it may be, you know, the love is real. So um, if you are watching to this point, much love, much love. I appreciate y'all. Stay tuned on the journey. I'm, I'm posting a lot more on Instagram. You can get me on there. And then um, me and Ryan got some really big plans for these next two shows. As you guys know, I'm hitting back to back shows on back to back weeks. So, you know, look forward to a, a peak week video with my coach. He's going to come. Um, show day videos, another peak week video, another show day video, a post show. So we got a lot coming. So best believe, ring the bell. All right, I'll wait. Go ahead. Okay, good. Okay, ring the bell, subscribe, and uh, we'll be seeing you soon, all right? But that is a chest day, two weeks out. Ah! And we'll see you on the next one.